welcome back to my youtube channel so i thought for today's video i would do an updated what's on my iphone for fall so first things first i have the iphone 11 and then the back is a black gloss but unfortunately since my last what's on my iphone video it has cracked quite a bit basically i can't even remember exactly what happened but my sister basically just by accident like smacked it out of my hand and it fell like perfectly like this on the floor so that's fun and then the screen itself is also just a little bit cracked not a lot though and then for my case i'm so sorry i have no idea where it's from but it's this cute little floor case with kind of like a purple and blue gold look okay so first things first is my lock screen okay so first things first at the top we just have the date then beneath that we have the time i put in kind of this like I don't even know what this font is called to be honest then below that i just have this little widget from an app called flourish or something like that i think that every day it just sends me a bunch of different affirmations and then next to that we have the weather and the likeliness of rain and then for the wallpaper i have currently it's just this picture of the sky surrounded by like a couple of trees i found this picture off of pinterest next moving on to my home screen as you can probably tell all of the apps are customized so if you want to see one of my more regular what's my iphone videos i will link a playlist in the description but first of all i have three widgets the one on the top is a small size widget and it's a picture of Rory Gilmore. The second one is a medium size widget that just shows my phone battery percentage and then any other devices that are connected to my phone. Then the one at the bottom is just a picture of someone reading a book outside during fall. <laughs> and then for the actual apps, at the top here you can see I have a folder which has most of my apps in and I'll go through that last because I feel like it's kind of boring because all of the apps look exactly the same but all the apps that are on my home screen right now are either apps that i use really often or stuff that i really need to start using often <laughs> so first we just have the camera app google chrome which i used to use really really often but recently i don't use it that much anymore or at least on my phone next that we have photos but i forgot to add the s on photos so it's just photo <laughs> then below that is goodreads next that we have fonto which is one of the apps that i use to make my thumbnails another one is molder but it's not here right now i should add it to my home screen because those are the two apps I use the most for thumbnails then below that we have youtube studio which is one of the apps that you can use when you're a youtuber to check your analytics your comments your monetization and then next to that we have youtube then in the little bottom bar we have apple music personally for music i use apple music and i get bullied for it so often like guys it's not that deep i do also have spotify since a lot of my friends have spotify and i don't know it's just convenient to also have so you can follow me on both of those link will be in the description and then next to that we have pinterest i think i got pinterest like a week or two ago and I'm so so happy I did tell me why it has made my life so much easier <laughs> and I feel like it's one of the few social media apps that can be really really positive then next that we have whatsapp which is what I personally use mostly for messaging and then next that we have apple weather okay moving on to the very boring widgets <laughs> basically I had to make it all this like plain color because I kind of ran out of pictures to use for them so I just decided to make them all plain I kind of tried to organize them but it was like kind of hard because these are just a bunch of really random apps but this first section is kind of more of like my productivity section so first we have Duolingo because at the moment I'm learning Dutch, Notes, Reminders, Apple Mail, Notion which I have not been using Notion a lot recently, not gonna lie. And then I have Calculator, Calendar, Fitness. Fitness isn't really productivity but I didn't know where else to put it so. And then next to that we have the app to learn how to drive in South Africa. Oh my gosh this scares me so much. Technically I'm only gonna have to start needing to use this when I turn 17 and like I haven't even turned 16 yet but I have such a bad memory so i feel like starting to memorize stuff now is like a really good idea moving on to the next folder we have all of my google apps which as you can see not a lot first we just have google google photos which i would highly recommend oh my gosh i can't remember the last time my phone said like my photos were full because all of them just get put onto google photos and it takes up so much less space then next to that we have google maps gmail which i mostly just use for like business i guess moving on the next page is like entertainment like mainly games <laughs> personally i actually don't play games on my phone that often because i usually go through a phase where i'll be addicted to a game for like a week or two and then i get over it so first we have heyday which is my current obsession i think my heyday farm name is just like minimus farm or something like that so you can go friend me and then next to that we have minecraft skin seed which isn't really a game but it's to make skins for minecraft so i just put it here cooking fever <laughs> sticker maker which is also not really a game but i didn't know where else to put it 
song is that dog been barking? Next we have my two other like music related apps which is Spotify and Shazam. Next we have Netflix which honestly I don't watch a lot of Netflix on my phone. I usually just watch it when we're like traveling and I download stuff. And then next that is the Flourish app which I was talking about earlier that sends you affirmations. The next folder is kind of more like my YouTube and social media folder. First we have Moldov which I really should move to my home screen which I also use for thumbnails. CapCut which I edit on. I edit on my laptop but I edit a lot of my shorts on my CapCut. Canon Connect which is the app that you can connect your camera to to send footage to your phone. Next is Photo Retouch which I occasionally use for thumbnails. Next to that we have Pixar which I have not used Pixar in forever because I used to make thumbnails on there a lot. I don't anymore. If you want to you can go follow me on there but I literally do nothing. Next to that we have Sub Counts which is basically just to why doesn't it want to open? <laughs> it's basically just to check your sub counts. Below that we have B612, which is kind of like my replacement for Snapchat because my parents are kind of strict about social media and stuff. The only social media I'm allowed to have is Pinterest and YouTube. And then I do also have an Instagram, but that's on my mom's phone. You can go follow me on Instagram, by the way, the link is in the description. But yeah, so this is kind of like a replacement for Snapchat, but it's not a social media. You can only use the filters. Next we have Lockets, which is an app where basically you can add a widget to your home screen and then you and your friend can and, like send pictures to each other. Next up we have AccuWeather which is a weather app. Moving on this is kind of more of like my Apple app so I don't use that often. First we have messages, settings, phone, safari, find my, clock, facetime, app store and widget smith. Widget smith is what I use to add the widgets to my home screen and that is it for what is on my iPhone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please like, comment, share and subscribe. Comment the falling leaf emoji if you stayed all the way to the end and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.